Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes Designed to Taste and See that the Lord is Good. My name is Michael Moret, reading today Proverbs 29, verse 16, where God says, When the wicked are multiplied, transgression increaseth, but the righteous shall see their fall. Notice what it says, when the wicked are multiplied, transgression increaseth. When the wicked are free to run free, and there are no consequences for their sin, then wickedness increases. And so does not not only wickedness, but the wicked do. Because they can see that, well, it's not punished, we can get away with it. But the righteous shall see their fall. It doesn't matter what man allows. In the end, if you stand firm for God, you will see the the fall of wickedness and the wicked someday. Now, I think, I know it's a good thing that the righteous will see the downfall of sinners. And they will because God only allows wickedness to go on for so long, and then he stops in, and he steps in, I should say, and he stops it. And he has to. He has to. Even at the end of the world, he steps in. The Bible says that if those days were not cut short, no flesh would remain, because sin goes against what is normal. Sin is not normal behavior. Oh, shouldn't say that, Mike. That's making a value judgment. In the world today, saying that, naming sin and saying that it's abnormal, it's not right, it's not only wickedness, it's not only sin, but it's abnormal, that'll get you a a quick uh, jerk off of many social media places. But it isn't. It's not normal. And that's why it's destructive. And that's why God says, if I don't cut it short in the last days, because evil is going to be running rampant so to the utmost degree, no flesh would remain. It, it causes destruction. When a society allows evil, that society will eventually crumble, decay upon its own moral rot. And so it is good that God steps in from time to time even before the last days. The world is a mess. If God would not step in and eliminate wicked people and wicked nations from time to time, it won't be long and there won't be any life righteousness left in the world and uh, there won't be any righteous people left in this world either. You know, all that it takes for evil to spread in this world is for good people to do absolutely nothing. Neville Chamberlain, Prime Minister of England, He didn't do a a single thing. He placated Hitler over and over again until Hitler became so strong that it took World War II and the death of millions of people and suffering to stop him. It almost reached the point of no return. And credit Britain and Winston Churchill and the people of Britain for hanging in there. But all of that was unnecessary. If he, Chamberlain, would have stopped it at its early stages, all it takes for evil to succeed and spread is for good people to do absolutely nothing. But thank God that he stops wickedness and he only allows it to go so far or this world would become completely and totally given over to wickedness. So we have a God that is righteous and will ensure that righteousness in the end will win You stick with Jesus. You remain true to Jesus even during tough times. You will see the downfall of wickedness and the wicked, and you won't shed a tear, believe me. Okay, study all of God's Word with me at thebibleversebyverse.com. If you'd like to be a part of Coffee Break and Scripture Verse by Verse, you can be by praying for me and God's Word. Do it right now while you're thinking about it, and I know you're thinking about it because I just said it. And Pray for me later if you think about it.
that makes you a part of this ministry. And also when you take a break from studying with me at the thebibleversebyverse.com, go to the front page, click the donate button, prayerfully give as the Lord may lead, because that also makes you a part of this ministry. Until next time, so long.